Now, students, I just want to tell you we were doing discussion of question answers, and uh, yesterday we were able to discuss five questions. And I told you also to do all those five questions in your fair notebook. Okay. So today we are going to discuss question number six. In question number six, it is given during their conversation. Lashkov reveals reveals means tells out a secret that Sergey's cook Olga is responsible for the positive change in him. How has Olga saved Lashko? So that is a very, very beautiful question. That is one of my favorite question because in this question, you can describe the gist of the chapter. Okay. The main climax of the chapter, you can say the main suspense of the chapter. Actually, basically it was Sarji's cook whose name was Olga. So Olga was helping Lashko secretly, but Okay, but uh, Sarji was not aware of this thing. So when he spoke like this thing that Olga is responsible for all the positive change in his behavior, all the positive change in, uh, you can say in his personality. So what was the reason behind that? And you have to describe it, elaborate in detail that how Olga saved Lashkov. So first of all, you tell, you have to tell this thing that he used to go on every uh, every day, you can say every month on the very first day of every month to Sergi's house, okay, to do that chopping and uh, chopping wood work, okay. And Sergi was so impressed that whatever the work is assigned to him, he was doing his work. But Lushkov, on the other hand, he was not doing that work in place of him who was doing that work. It was Olga who was doing her work, doing his work on his behalf. Moreover, she was scolding her badly. She was so much annoyed with her. She was not happy, okay? Uh, she used to curse, curse him also. But after that, Lushkov realized that because of that, he also got good impression on Sarji and Sarji offered him a job in another organization. You can say he got a job in notary, okay? And because of that, he got job in notary and now when they both met after two years and then uh, Lashkov uh, revealed all the secret in front of Sarji because Sarji was uh, holding him responsible that he is the one who has brought change in him. So after that Lashkov told no, there is one person who has brought change in his personality. Who is that person? This is Olga. Okay. So Sarji was completely shocked to know about Olga that how she helped that drunkard personality uh, secretly and how this help has brought a tremendous and you can say positive change in him. Okay. So now who is going to tell me this answer? Get ready with this one. Hurry up. Today, Daljeet, I want that you should reply in class because yesterday I was announcing your name. So many times I announced your name, but you were least bothered. I don't know. You were taking your breakfast or you were taking rest. I don't know. You were not responding at all. And even you didn't send me a message in chat box. Actually, what happened? Why are you not responding? Okay, so first of all, I want to ask this answer from Shimash. After Shimash, Daljeet should be ready. Okay, Shivansh, unmute yourself and give me this answer. Where is Shivansh? Shivansh, unmute yourself and give me this answer. Afterwards, Daljeet will be telling me the answer. Daljeet, you just call me after uh, or you send me a message after the class because I do, I'm so surprised. Why are you not responding? Shivansh has written, I'm constructing the answer. I was expecting that you have written, I'm constructing the building. building Okay, any other? Shivansh is busy in construction. Okay, by the time Pranay, you tell me. Leshkov said that hmm? Ma'am, your video is paused and audio not coming. You speak, your voice is audible. There can be some network issue. 
Rana, you keep on speaking. Leshko said that not only Sergi is responsible in improving the condition of him, that person who changed his life and improved his condition was Olga, who was the cook. He told him that he didn't chop a single wood. Olga used to call him the most unluckiest person, which improved his condition. But you have to elaborate all the things in detail, as I have told you. Each and everything you have to go step by step. Uh, initially what happened after that what happened and at at end how did it change his personality each and everything i have told you in detail but che so write down this answer in detail so diksha your answer is ready so diksha so diksha you tell me this answer Yes, ma'am. Tell me this answer. Olga was a sympathetic lady, and she realized the condition of uh, Lushkov and tried her best to improve his condition. And she didn't let him chop any woods. She used to chop the woods for him. Uh, and because she was very sympathetic, she saw his condition, so she used to chop woods for him, and she. Also kept criticizing him in order to improve his condition and improve him. He realized his her feelings towards him, and uh, that's why uh, he also changed as a person. Good and improved his condition. Okay. Now, bache, you will be doing these short questions in your notebook, and now I'm going to tell about two long questions to you that we will be doing today. Okay. So the very first question, these are the extra question that I'm going to give you. So the first question we are going to do about character sketch of Lushkov. Character sketch of Lushkov. So Bacha, today our syllabus is going to be complete. Okay. Okay. Now Shivansh has raised his hand. Shivansh is about to give answer. Okay, Shivansh, you tell me. Good morning, ma'am. Yes, good during morning. His conversation, during his conversation with Sergi, Lushkov revealed that it was Sergi's cook, a kind and compa compassionate old lady named Olga, who was responsible for a positive change in him. When Lushkov met o Olga, she, she called him by various names and even shouted on him. She would then be for his, for his miserable condition and life. Olga would also cut the wood that Lushkov had to cut. Her selfless acts gradually made Lushkov quit drinking. He thus started working diligently and was now a respectable man. Good. Very nice. Very nicely written. Nice. Okay, now we are going to do character sketch of Lushkov uh, in which you have to write down personality traits of Personality traits of traits means qualities or you can say disquality. Personality traits of Lushkov. It can be positive, it can be negative. You have to write down and afterwards you will be elaborating. So for that, I want that uh, there should be maximum participation. Whether you type the uh, type one word or two words or one sentence, I'm going to own my chat box. So you start typing whatever trait, whatever quality or this quality you think that Blushkov was possessing. Okay. So start writing. We will make a list of all his qualities and these qualities. Then we will pick up those qualities and we will elaborate this answer in detail. So type in chat box. I would be appreciating those students side by side. First of all, we will be writing only hints. Okay. Unwilling drunken worker, drunkard. Simran and Dhiren are the first one to send me. Unwilling drunkard. Okay. Unwilling worker, drunkard. Okay. Liar. Okay. One of the student has written liar. Okay, Nitya has written told lies. Okay, good. Next, afterwards, and another trait lazy. 
yes very good next is mentally and physically weak and physically weak mentally and physically weak you can't say caring not at all untidy that circumstances made him untidy okay next one okay alcohol has irresponsible very good is responsible and another point very good ridhima nitya ikjot sudiksha arzu laksh ridhima dhiren renuka all these are attentive student of my class those who are sending me correct answer okay kya dignity kya arzu has typed in dignity drunken eyes okay that is a part of his physical okay protagonist very good okay see so from all these traits we can come to know that uh, you have to tell about first of all his physical appearance whenever you are going to tell about any of the character sketch of any of the person you should always start with physical appearance that how that that person looked okay then you have to tell that circumstances have made him like this or situation or it was his choice who had made him like this that he was wearing a tattered uh, over a uh, long coat okay that was not uh, fit to his physique okay he was addicted to drinking okay yes and he was where was he working you have to tell about his designation also where was his working he was singing in a choir okay so he was earning good amount of money but because of his habit of drunkenness he was expelled from that group and he was free for near about one year he was having no work and it was his choice that made him beggar because when he became beggar he started telling a lie also some day he was telling a lie that he was a student some days he was telling a lie that he was a village school teacher he was getting accumulating sympathy from others in this way he was collecting alms alms you can say begging beg he was collecting alms from others so when work was assigned to him by sarji he did not take that job so seriously why so because he was not having that physical stamina and strength to do that job moreover he thought that this job was below his dignity okay at one time he got embarrassed also at one situation when work was assigned to him to you can say pull furniture work to shift furniture work when this job was assigned to him at that time he was feeling so embarrassed because he was not able to do that job he was not having that physical stamina but one lady brought a turning point in his life that was olga yes olga brought uh, drastic and tremendous change in his life yes yes very good dhiren has written very good point that he was not clever enough that he couldn't pretend he couldn't pretend that he was busy in doing his work because when he was not able to drag that furniture so he was standing like idle person he was not pretending so you can say he was not cunning he was not clever enough to show false skills yes very good so now with all the points that we have discussed today you frame your answer and get ready with this i just want to appreciate all those children who would be raising hands and i don't want that your answer should be too in detail 
at least you can try you can speak three four lines on the character sketch of lashko because you have gone through the whole chapter so you should have sufficient content with you so pick up all the hints whatever i have written on blackboard whatever i have discussed with you and start framing so first of all vidima will be giving me answer then simran then any of the child can be told to give me the answer only then they will be marked present otherwise i am going to mark them absent those who would not reply in class so ridima you tell me first of all after ridima simran should be ready yes sir uh, lashkov was a middle aged man his way of begging was different from others he pretended sometimes to be a teacher and sometimes to be a student basically he was a beggar uh, uh, that uh, make himself for his needs uh, in reality he was a musician in the russian uh, choir he was kicked out of the orchestra because of his drinking habits he didn't like to work hard he had lost his strength and stamina both he was wearing a tattered overcoat and his big boots there were red spots on his cheeks he told lies in order to fill his empty belly if he had told the truth none would have helped him because of olga and sergei he changed himself and became a notary okay good very well written now simran you tell me yes ma'am <clears throat> Lushkov is the protagonist in the story The Beggar. Lushkov is a pretentious and lying beggar who disguises his tr true identity and fools the giver. He sometimes is an expelled schoolmaster and sometimes an expelled student. This is his falsity. Lushkov became a beggar by circumstance. He used to sing in a Russian choir, but he was fired from his job due to his drinking habit. This led him to beg. Lushkov tells blatant lies about his plight to arouse the sympathy of others and get alms in return. His clothes are torn and untidy, and his eyes are dull and drunken. He lacks both physical and emotional strength because alcohol has made him weak. Good, very nice, very nice. Now I am going to ask this answer from Raghav. After Raghav, Aryan Chopra should be ready. Yes, Raghav. Whatever you have written, two lines, three lines, you can speak. Yes, Raghav. Raghav and Aryan Chopra both should be ready with the answer. Raghav, unmute yourself. otherwise i will mark you absent aryan chopra raghav why are you typing this answer i don't want to read chat box now because now you have to write down maximum lines on this so you start speaking unmute yourself and speak whatever you have written two lines three lines whatever you have written just speak it out aryan chopra you tell me now Yes, Aryan Chopra. See ninth class performance. You are not doing well in class. So many hints are given to you, discussed with you, and two students also have given the answer. You should have a plenty of ideas with you. So why don't you have the such such uh, confidence that you can utter this answer in class? Why is it happening in the class? If you would be sitting in offline class, you would be behaving like that. Tell me. if you will behave like that it means you are doing nothing you are learning nothing in class it is only a mere wastage of time it is only a pretend you can say you are only pretending that you are in class so aryan chopra and raga both are marked absent by me today in my register i am not going to mark you present arzu you tell me same answer arzu Excuse me, ma'am. हाँ जी बेटा. Ma'am, may you take a side because just uh, I just wanna uh, take a screenshot of the board. 
a screenshot why don't you write down these are very few points you can uh, jot down this screenshot will remain is like a screenshot in your mobiles it's better if you write down because when you keep on writing so many points other points will also occur in your mind chalo maine kisko bola tha mujhe bhula hi dete kisko bola tha maine abhi bolne ke liye answer ma'am now can i tell the answer yes yes arzu hmm. yes ma'am lashko was an old dr drunk yard beggar he had full drunken eyes wait wait, wait 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 whatever you have spoken drunk yard it is drunkard okay ma'am now speak so lashko was an old drunkard beggar he had full drunken eyes and a red spot on either cheek he used to tell lies so that people would take pity on him and give him money he didn't want to work and was thrown out of the russian corps where he sank earlier due to drunkenness lashkov accepted sergai's offer to work due to pride and shame he hardly did any work at sergai's home and was greatly helped by olga in completing his all task he was moved by olga's concern for him and the unconditional help uh, which was given by him this made him challenge and he left drinking and started working hard he was also a grateful person uh, ma'am i have written only this much arzu very smart answer you have written okay offered by him ni offered by her the help was offered by olga so for that you will be writing her okay now we are going to move to next question next question that i am going to give you that is a very good question and i want that all of you should participate in this discussion it is you can say main gist of the chapter and very good proverb is also used here so all of you first of all write down this question only then you will be able to understand the meaning okay you can lead a horse to water you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink okay you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink very beautiful line is given okay so you have to justify this proverb i have used this proverb you have to justify the proverb with reference to the story with reference to the story the beggar okay i would be appreciating that child too much first of all who would be telling me the meaning of this proverb you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink that student would be considered the most intelligent student of my class who would be telling me the exact meaning of this proverb you can lead a horse to water but you cannot make it drink because you have to understand the meaning of this proverb then you have to justify this proverb by taking example of the story the beggar now i just want to consider the intelligent students of my class are simran ridhima and renuka out of 46 students 25 are attending the class and out of 25 only four have raised their hands only four are intelligent others are you can use one adjective for you whatever adjective you want opposite of intelligent okay now list has come to five students ridhima renuka simran dhiren sudiksha okay renuka you tell me what do you think 
Ma'am, the meaning of this proverb is that that we can let a person to the way, but we can't um, change him because uh, because we uh, we can we can't change anyone's uh, uh, anyone's mind. We can't change anyone. Uh, we can just let him to the way. We can just try to change him. Uh, in reference to the story, we can say that uh, Sergi gave uh, gave. Sergi gave Lashkov a um, um, a way to his uh, to uh, to work, but he can't um, change him change his drinking habits. Uh, is, that's why this proverb is used. Okay, you are very uh, close to answer. You have written so well. Now, Ridima, whatever you have written, you tell me, Ridima. Yes, ma'am. Um, uh, the proverb meant that uh, we can give a uh, opportunity to someone, and we can help them to start their journey. But it is it depend on them how they can uh, end their journey, or uh, we cannot force them to do that. Uh, in the similar way, in the similarly in the story, the uh, Lashkov uh, 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 Lash. Sorry, Sir Guy and uh, the, uh, Sir Guy gave him opportunity, but Lashkov was in bad habits of drinking and was not able to do the work similarly in the way uh, they gave to the him. Good, well tried. Now, Sudiksha, you tell me. Let me listen all, then I will be deciding whose answer was the perfect one. Yes, yeah, Sudiksha. Unmute yourself and tell. Yes. This proverb means that this proverb means that we can show a person or guide him to the path of his goals, but we can't do the work instead of him. So he has to do his he or she has to do their own work to achieve that goal, but one can guide them to their path. Of success. Very, very well and in the story, in the same way, Sarji also uh, uh, gave him the opportunity to work so that he can earn a living by himself. But Olga helped him in the, uh, but Olga did the work instead of him, which is not the case in real life. The person has to do their work on their own to, uh, to have success, what? to achieve success. Yes. Jocelyn, what do you think? What is your perspective? Uh, this proverb means that we can just give an opportunity to someone. It's their own wish to uh, to move on that path or not. And we can't change anyone uh, if they don't want to. And in this, uh, st uh, in this story, as the uh, Sergi offers the job to the Lakshkov, and Lashkov goes to Sergi's house, uh, and uh, but he in actually didn't do the work of chopping wood. The all the work was done by Olga, uh, and he was uh, happy to get money without doing any work. And according to him, he can use that uh, money for drinking. But it was only Olga who used abusive uh, words and changed the. Uh, and mend the way and change the uh, behavior of Lashkov. And uh, due to this, the Lashkov mend his ways and become a better person in his life. So very nicely, you all have spoken so well. What is your perspective? What is your viewpoint? You all have given your viewpoint and all are praiseworthy because your all answers were correct. The meaning of this proverb is that you can show way to one of the person. You can show, you can tell that person, yes, this is the right path. But you can't tell that, yes, you have to go on that path. You can only show them. But to go on that path, that is their wish. Okay. So you have to uh, explain this with the reference of uh, Lashkov. That Lashkov was given offer, given a very good job by Sir Jai. Okay. But it was wish of Lashkov that he wanted to uh, go on that path. He wanted to make his career. He wanted to give up drinking or not. Okay. Because right path was shown by him, but to tread on that path, to go on that path and to choose right option, it was in the hands of Lashko. So with reference to this, you will be taking all the examples and you will be elaborating your answer. Now today your syllabus is over from tomorrow onwards, we are going to start with division.
okay now uh, keep your hands down so that i can take screenshot okay 